tussle between Tony Gwynn Drive and Trevor Hoffman Way. This is Petco Park. MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Seattle Mariners and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. Today's starting pitcher, you Darvish. Well, this guy has the ability to command the game. He's got to limit damage, make his pitches, and avoid that big inning. If he can work around that, he can give a quality start, hand this off to the bullpen later on, and put his team in a position to win the game. Ready to go? And stepping in for the Mariners, J.P. Crawford. The wide to kick the pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. Man, first pitch of the day, and the zone's already tight. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Makes the grab one away. And now we check out the Mariners lineup. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer. And when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. One down, base is empty. Fought off foul. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss there. Oh, no, that's that slope right One there. Ball. He threw it extremely well. I'm talking about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. That's ripped. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Everything that came together over. perfectly for the him right there. Hit. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. The batter oh. now, Jorge Polanco. Rodriguez leads off first with one away. Darvis checks on the runner. Rodriguez dives back in safely. pitch fights it off you'll see another and the righty deals keeps the effect going with a foul ball man at first one away also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Rodriguez, round second on his way to third. Headed for the plate. He scores, and they have the lead. one nothing. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Right through there for a strike.
Man at second. Swing and a foul straight back. Going to now. Swing and a drive deep right field. That's back. Gone. A two run shot. And they boost their lead. It's 3 0. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So one out, nobody on. And now the catcher comes up to him. Cal Raleigh. Ball. First pitch misses. Darvish, multi-time all-star. He features a sinker, a slurb, a slider, a four-seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. The 1-0. -oh. Wouldn't you chase up. that time. Darvish, maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Kicks and deals. Fouls one off, two and two. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great <laughs> show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm okay. broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And a pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Ty France up next for the Mariners. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. Now a chance for Luke Rayleigh. And a foul ball. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Righty delivers. Ball. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Man on second, two down. Up the middle. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And no shot to get him at first. There's two aboard. The right wing. Mid hit. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. That one finds the zone. It's 0 1. Kicks and fires. Ball. And a good Ball. eye there. are occupied with two down. Ball. 
Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Two on two outs. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two run home run. It's now three nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in San Diego, towing the slab in today's game, Luis Castillo. What's the scouting report on him? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. So digging in now for Here San Diego, Hassan Kim. Not sure Not sure stop. Stop. After scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And that's in the dirt. Well, Kim is one of those players that it's just hard to take your eyes off of him, man. Not many players in the 2023 World Baseball Classic had more fun than he did. He hit a grand slam and a win against China, and earlier in the tournament had a two-homer game. Delivered some special moments for Korea. Just missed. That's inside. And that's ball three. Boom, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Next offering is fouled back. Payoff pitch. He goes down looking. No, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Right through there for his strike. One out, base is empty. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, one, opposite two. field knock. That one way outside. Now one and two. Got him looking. Two gone now. Now, well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run no. homer. Jake Cronenworth at the plate now. That's ball one. Two outs, base is empty. Ball. And another ball. ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Rio. Manny Machado in the San Diego on deck circle. Next offering is in for a strike. And a strike in there. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere.
Left hand hitter waits. In the air on the infield. Polanco settles underneath it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Padres down in order. They trail it here, 3-0. Back here at Petco Park. New inning getting started. Leading off, Josh Rojas. And the right hander back to work. That one fouled off. The wind and the pitch. Down the middle for a strike. And the count is 0-2. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first. Got hit around a little bit. Just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be. Because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. So the batting order turns over. J.P. Crawford now at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And that one wrapped foul. The wind of the pitch. In the air to left, down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. The 0-2. And they'll do it again. Right-hander kicks, deals. And down on strikes. Then there's two away. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Right through there for a strike. Rodriguez measures six feet, four inches, 230 pounds, and he's a former rookie of the year. And a pitch. Strike two. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still 0 and 2. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two outs. And he chases that one. And the Mariners set down one, two, three. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the second, and now the veteran third baseman, Manny Machado. When you talk about a neat defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. High fly ball out at a left center field. Rayleigh really on his way over. Corrals it. And a quick out number one. And Chris, beyond the fact that he's so incredible defensively, he also can swing the stick. It's Xander Bogarts now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Bogarts 
who wears that number two on his back for his idol Derek Jeter. No. And the slider just misses. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boop, Joey Mack, sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. Whoa, Next offering is down low. The Mariners leading by three, bottom half of inning number two. And a four-pitch four. walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked that me right it. there, Boog. The last one the wasn't even it. close. Louis. Next, it's the catcher for the Padres, oh. Luis Campusano. Swings and lines one towards the gap. And that's down a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Now batting jerks in Profar. That one a little bit high, and it's one to know. Two on, one out. And that one fouled off. That's in there. And the count, one and two. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. First and third, one down. Fights that one away, still one and two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. The pitch. On the ground to the left. That's a base hit as a run scores. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Next for the Padres, Matthew Batten. That's There's a strike. strike. And here it comes. Slap the other way, foul. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there are two down. Jose Azucar, the next up for the Padres. They had a foul ball. In the air, right side. And he makes the catch. And that is the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. You're dialed into the show. And we're back. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Jorge Polanco. The right-hander back to work. Well, here's an interesting oh. stat on Darvish. 
He has more than 100 wins in his big league career. The only Japanese-born pitcher with more wins is Hideo Nomo, my former teammate. The pitch. One, Almost two. got him. That one in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Garver Four. takes low second trip one to the plate in this one. Four That's two. off the mark and a count two and one. Two back one. to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. And that one is lifted in the air. Tatis should have this one. And there's two down. Up next is Seattle. The catcher. Two outs, base is empty. Whoa. And up next for Seattle, Cal Raleigh. His first at bat was a strikeout. That one inside. One and one oh. ball. No strike. Ball. Just missed. Two -oh count. Great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. The wind to kick the 2 0. -oh. Down low. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And that one hops the wall. And he's got a double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. What a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. And here's the first baseman, Ty France, doubled in his first A.B. And there's the strike. Oh one. Man at second. Two. Perhaps not oh quite ready to hit. Two First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's gonna have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Play at the plate. Got it. Long throw for the third out. Bang, bang, play at the plate right there. Outfielder needed no help. An absolutely perfect throw to get him right on the money. Excellent tag by the catcher. And the inning ends on an awesome play. Back here in San Diego, bottom of the inning, stepping in for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. Yep. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. The wind of the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Here comes the pitch. High fly ball down the left field line. Tracks it down for the out. 
And there's one away. Man, Boog, I love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that play. And it's a lot easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact. With Tatis at the plate, we're looking at a player that is never going to be considered boring. He's an electric player that manages to make plays most players wouldn't Ball. consider trying. And he plays the game his own way. It's a big reason why he's considered such a fan favorite. And that one fouled off. And the right hater deals. That's no. a little bit low. That's one you Two always balls. want as a pitcher Two down at the knees, and it looks to me like he's barking. That's a strike. Doesn't change the call, but sometimes it helps to let that frustration out a little bit. One down, base is empty. Full count. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. France drifts towards it, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Two down. Now bad. First base. Stepping in, Jake Cronenworth. He popped out his first time. No strikes. One you want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on deck circle. And with two outs, one swing, it puts you right back in this ball game. That one off the mark. Ball two. And another ball. Manny Machado on deck for the Padres. The M's leading by two here in the last half of the third. Next offering is in for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. To the right side, France. Off balance Out. throw, in time. That takes care of Cronenworth. And that is the inning. Nothing doing there for the Friars. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. As we go to the top of the fourth, and here is Luke Rayleigh. Darvish back to work. Started after it, appealed to third, and yes, he offered at it. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Everything came together now for him. Out. Just kept it the simple. Right Played here. Pepper with the middle Mid of the infield and Hannah. took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. That's in for a strike at 95. Going one. thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes unfortunately they're making pretty good contact so not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him here's a one two Wouldn't chase that time that misses the zone and the counts full Really, aboard here at first with nobody out. And ball four to aboard. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. 
Rojas. Here's Josh Rojas. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Oh. That one misses. That's five one straight. Ball. Movement Go. in the bullpen. Pedro Avila appears to be getting loose. Kolek warming up as well. Righty to the plate. Foul ball there. And a 1 1. Ground ball to the right side. Bogarts with the throw to first. Awesome play there. That was a productive at bat. You know you're doing something right anytime you help move two runners into scoring position and give your team a chance to drive in a few runs, even if it's still kind of early in the game. Crawford up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Two on, one out. Rip to first. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Julio Rodriguez. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Oh, great grab on the dive. Gathers and throws. Yeah. Safe at first, and an infield single keeps the inning going. It's a good hustle. And we're talking about an emerging leader on a team. Those are the things that are going to be necessary for him to do to set that example. You know, game in, game out. Now for Seattle, Jorge Polanco, one for two with an RBI double back in the first. And that's in for a strike. No ball, one strike. Bounced up the middle. Bogarts fires over to first. And Polanco is out. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Mariners four and the Padres one. Back here with my pal Ziggy. Ready to go. Bottom four. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres, Manny Machado. Machado. You know, Boo, Petco Park seems to be transforming into Machado's castle. I mean, nobody's hit more home runs in this ballpark. And Machado passed Adrian Gonzalez for the top spot on the list in 2023. You know, these Padres showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. But why to kick the pitch? Bows it off, still one and two. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Rodriguez settles under it, puts it away for the out. Up next, the second base baseman. Here's Andrew Bogarts. The walk and a run scored his first time. You know, the first manager to ever win a game here at Petco Park was Tony Gwynn. Yes, Tony Gwynn. They had a college baseball tournament here in March 2004, and Tony managed San Diego State to a win. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up, has it offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Ball one to Bogarts.
that no, just misses two and two. It's a good take. Oh. Got it by him for the K. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you get away with no, some no, of those. No. More margin the for error. Here. You know, the oh, fastball yeah. becomes such a huge no, strikeout no. pitch in the sport. Oh. I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin Be rates. Right. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. Oh. And there's a the ball. 1-1. One, one. The Padres trailing by three. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Falling behind two and one. Hammer down the right side, but foul. Got him swinging. So they make short work of him there. We played four. It's the Mariners four and the Padres one. Here at Petco Park. Top five, John Chami with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Mitch Garver. And a pitch. Not even close there. And that's ball one. Garver, 33 years old. And he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in New Mexico. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. And the righty deals. Ball, that's down. That one fouled off, two and two. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses. Picks up strikeout number seven. Now batter. Now the Mariners catcher, Cal Raleigh. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. The throw into second. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Two hits for him in this one, both were extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That does it for you, Darvish. It's a three-run game, and we'll be back to tell you about the new arm in a minute. Pedro Avila taking over on the mound. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Man at second with one away. Ty France getting ready to hit. There's a strike. Tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Oh. And that's outside. No. And a ball evens the count. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Stays alive. Battling here as he fouls it away. One out and a runner at second, and we're at the top of the fifth. Popped up right side, Bogarts moving under it. 
That's out number two. Here's the left fielder, Luke Rayleigh. Bounce to third. What a stop from his backside. They get the out, and that'll do it. Well, that right there was all pre-pitch positioning. Put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Jerkson Profond. And the pitch. Edge of the zone for a strike. Going long. You know, these Padres need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for him to get anything going. No, Just that's ball. missed. Sometimes you One have ball. to keep chipping Good away start. until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because two, they two. put themselves there. That one is upstairs. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Rodriguez sizing this one up. Calls it in, and there's one away. Up next is the Padres. The designated hitter. Matthew Batten, Matthew. the next up for the Padres. Matthew. He's all for one. That ah. one finds the zone, and that's strike one. Not what he's looking for there in the 0-0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Oh, and that no. just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. No, oh, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just comes down to not the seeing the pitch out of the hand, not yeah. tracking it into the zone. And then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Azokar no now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Oh, and two now. In the air, right field. Fair ball. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Hot young care. So digging in now for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. back our way and that's out of play Azokar the runner at first with two gone well, if he's going to steal second you want him to go early in the count that way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch he's got it and that'll end the inning Padres leave one and they trail it 4-1 And we're back. Now it's the right fielder, Mitch right Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger. Avila back to work. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Foul ball. Line to left, and that's down, a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. 
I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0 2 count. Oh, Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone, keep that leadoff man off first base. Josh Rojas up next for the Mariners. No. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Rudder at first with no outs here. Ball, Next pitch ball. is outside. No, he's really Two working ball. him away. This no bat sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Ball, that one ball. misses, and that's ball three. three. Ball. No strike. And there's the automatic. Into center. Makes the grab on the run. Run away. Back to the top of the Seattle order. J.P. Crawford, the next to hit. Swing and a ball popped up. Bogarts under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. The Julio Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez up next for the Mariners. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Ball. Just missed. At the belt and fires. He swings and fouls one off. Pitch misses three and one now. Three ball, one strike. So now That's two on and two outs. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty now much gifted in first base, base with a quick free pass. Yeah. Now it's the second baseman, Jorge Polanco. One for three. First off, bringing it just misses. Righty delivers. That one two. missed. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, two outs. Hard right on the ground to first. He takes it himself That's to the out. bag, and that'll do it. No runs, a hit, two left. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Mariners four and the Padres one. Back here in San Diego, we go bottom six. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. And the right-hander back to work. That one fouled off. Ball. Next pitch downstairs. One and one. Two. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. One, Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. And the one two misses to even the count. And that one missing low. Really close pitch down around the knees there. And you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Tatis waits. 
Left field. And there's one down. The first base is number nine. Jake. So up next, Jake Cronenworth. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. And another ball. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here or this could get ugly. Right through there for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And it finds its way through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Number 13, Manny Machado. Here's Manny Machado now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And Manny gets a piece. Oh, one down. This one popped up right side. France under it. Squeezes it. And there are two outs. Boy, that was a hanging no, breaking no, 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 ball right no, no, there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. A strikeout and a walk. Fought off foul. Pitch ball. misses, and that's ball one. One ball, one strike. Cronenworth off of first with two away. Big stack center field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. He was up oh, and over that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Now, Luis Campusano. No. Just missed. One ball, no strike. Two outs. And fouled off. Three. Right through there for a strike. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. And a pitch. Got him! And the Padres waste a chance. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. We go to the top of the seventh, and now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners, Mitch Garver. The wind of the pitch. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. And he deals. Ball. It misses. It's a strikeout. 
Now back. Next to him, Cal Raleigh. Cal Raleigh. First pitch is in the dirt. Out towards right center field. Tatis springs it in with a nice running grab. The first base is number 23. Ty France. Two outs, base is empty. And now the first baseman, Ty France. First pitch misses. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Wouldn't chase that time. And that's off the inside edge. And it's 3-0. That clips the corner. 3-1. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Nothing across here this half. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Mariners four, and the Padres one. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Trent Thornton. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Seattle. Number 46, Trent Thornton. Now the left fielder, Jerickson Profar. One for two. Jerickson And here it comes. And a strike. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Right-handed reliever. Swinging a foul straight back. Not close with that one, and the count is one and two. Activity in the bullpen. Matt Brash appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Santos, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. And a one-two. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Matthew Batten, the next up for the Padres. Matthew Batten. And that one fouled off. One down, base is empty. To third. And that's a fair ball. He kind of rolled over on his pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through a bit of and we'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Man at first with one gone. Next for the Padres, Jose Azokar. And a good eye there. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. That's a base hit. Oh, he throws it away. 
Nice job of driving that pitch the other no, way no, around no, the no, line. No, no. You know, hitters, they take no, so no. many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now let's see if they can string something together, make it a little more interesting. And now the shortstop, Hassan Kim. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Ball that one. one drifts inside. The tying run at the plate. You're that up. misses the zone, and that's ball two. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. Tying run at the plate. That three. one misses. Ball three. The pitch. And that's, that's ball, the ball. four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, boy. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one right, right here. So bases loaded with one away. Fernando Tatis Jr., the next up for the Padres. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Bounded ball here, rolls foul. And the 0-1. Swing and attack where the rolls foul. With the go-ahead run at the plate, here at the bottom of the seventh. Next pitch is outside. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. In the air, out towards right center. Makes the grab. Runner tanks for home. A big run scores on the sack fly. And now just a two-run deficit. Well, he'll take the sack fly on the mound right there. Base is loaded. I mean, this is a high leverage situation. And if you can limit the other team, you're doing pretty good work. See if he can get this next out. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Gabe Spire. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate and try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Here's the strike up high. Going around. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Thank you. Azokar on third. Kim on at first with two down. That one, one not close. And yeah, a count one and two. Two, Slider two. misses outside. Ground ball oh. left side. And it's just foul. That was close. Example right there, that plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Here's Machado. Slap the other way, foul. So the tying run at second. 1-1. One, one. Oh. 
Swing and a ball popped up. Rojas under this one. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. So two runs, three hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Mariners four and the Padres three. We go to the eighth and stepping in for the Mariners, Luke Rayleigh. The pitch. That one finds the zone, and it's a little long. And a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Ball. And that one upstairs. One ball, two strikes. in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball yeah, travel yeah. a little more and his timing will be back on track. Good yeah. pitch for the strike yeah. effort. Mitch Hanniger up next for the Mariners. Three right ball. through there for a strike. One down, base is empty. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Now a slow roller to second. On the run, throw to first. He's out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Mariners go down quietly there, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. On the mound now, Matt Brash. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And here comes Sander Bogarts. Corner infielder starting the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And a pitch. And that's outside. And that is ball one. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. Andres Munoz. The closer is getting ready and perhaps looking at a long save opportunity here. Looking to get the tying run on base. That's a little bit low. You out the count. And another ball. Luis Campusano in the on deck circle. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Uh -huh. uh, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Woo. Swing and a miss. Now okay. three and two. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. That's the third. 
Zips it across. Lead off man is out here in the game. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. Here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. And that one hit to first. France takes it to the bat, and that quickly two away. Throws a line on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Jerickson Profar, the next up for the Padres. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Rash, 25 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2019. Into the ball. zone, called a strike. 0 and 2. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. Ball Next ball. offering misses down and away. Two outs. Chopped to third. Rojas on the run. Sends it over to first. Got him, In out. time. Got him. And that'll do it. Padres go down quietly. Still down a run. It's 4-3. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Tom Cosgrove. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. The shortstop, J.P. Crawford. And a pitch. Crawford leading things off and takes a strike. Well, a good breaking ball like that can buckle the hitter, and by the time you realize it's going to be in the strike zone, it's too late to pull the trigger. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Kicks and fires. The what shortstop two? takes the ball. And now the lefty. What up two? and in and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. The pitch. On the ground. Bogarts handles the chance in plenty Out. of time to first. Now one gone in the ninth. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out the in front a little hitter. bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Julio. Now the Rodriguez. number two hitter, Julio Rodriguez. Ball. Just missed. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego. Adrian Morahol, the left-hander, up and throwing. One down, base is empty. And it's fouled away. The 1-1. One, one. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Pulls in with a double third hit for him today. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. One down. Jorge Polanco will hit next. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Mm -hmm. 
Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. The other way. He makes the catch. And there's two down. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. So now it's the full hole hitter, Mitch Garver. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any Cal base Brown. to end the inning. The catcher. Here's the catcher Cal. to hit, Cal Raleigh. The switch hitter batting right. This one in the air. Kim has a beat on it. He's there. He's got it. And that'll do it. So they strand a pair. 8-9-1 due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Mariners four and the Padres three. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Andres Munoz. Your attention, well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team, man. There's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. So now here's the DH, Matthew Batten. The designated hitter. Matthew Batten. The pitch. Just missed. The triple digits. One run game, bottom nine. Two one. And this is inside. Chopped in the ground. Polanco tosses the first, Out. and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. Jose Azokar digs in now. There's a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. That one catches the zone, and it's nothing in two. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. Yeah, the right hater deals. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Swing at a chopper, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. Kicks and deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Got him looking. Now only one out remaining. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. It's been pretty tough to get to in this one. Last chance for the Padres. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One run lead, and yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. That one finds the corner, and the count one and one. Out towards left center, Rodriguez settles under it. He's got it, ball game, and the Mariners hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game, got a little of everything, some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch.